Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries Group Exhibit. You're here with me today at the Technical Forum. I'd like to invite anyone who's listening to feel free to grab a seat, enjoy a coffee, juice, or water while we listen to our next presentation. The next presentation is Plastic Omnium High Pressure Gas Storage System. Uh, you may recall this one was originally scheduled for Tuesday morning. So if it was one that it was a do not miss then, it's actually st starting at just a moment. And here to speak with us from Plastic Omnium, we have Axel Seifert, who is the business line director. Please join me while we give him a warm welcome. Thank you. Yeah, actually, my, 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 uh, my title is uh, Business Line Director Composite Pressure Vessel at the uh, New Energy Division of Plastic Omnium. I will be talking about Hydropack, the, the uh, initiative by Plastic Omnium for the development and production of high pressure, high pressure hydrogen uh, cylinders. A um, few words about Plastic Omnium. Who knows Plastic Omnium? No. Yes. Um, it's one. Uh, it's a large French tier one supplier, uh, which has a very global footprint in 127 uh, with 127 plants in 31 countries, 32,000 employees, and focusing very much on uh, research and development. Um, two division: auto energy storage and propulsion. Uh, one in every four vehicles is equipped with a fuel tank from uh, Plastic Omnium and the other division is the outer exterior parts and modules, mainly bumpers and, uh, um, and uh, car body parts. Um, it's a family owned uh, group, so um, with a focus of uh, independence, uh, very strong uh, financial uh, situation, focusing on investment, innovation, integration, and internationalization. Um, as I said, main products of the uh, auto energy division is uh, the, the fuel tanks, 2.2 um, million produced in 2017, and the SCR systems, which you might know also under the name of AdBlue, to uh, reduce the NOx uh, in uh, diesel for diesel cars and the new division which is the new energy division where I belong to where we develop high pressure gas uh, cylinders hydrogen fuel cells and uh, system management for fuel cell vehicles um, we have a broad customer base all over the world and uh, as I said one out of four cars is equipped with uh, um, plastic omnium technology um, also, this global footprint, Renault, Nissan, Mitsubishi, General Motors, but also European manufacturers, uh, just focus on uh, market development. We expect the biggest market to be developed in China in the coming years. Um, very proud to have uh, operational excellence regarding uh, uh, safety and uh, customer PPM. Uh, it's a very high priority, which is very much appreciated by our customers. Um, again, global footprint, headquarter in France. I am working in a Belgian research uh, center, uh, but also a lot of growth in uh, Northern America and also especially in uh, um, Asia, where uh, two new uh, R&D center will be um, opened and one of them is in uh, actually Wuhan, China and the other one is in uh, Delta Tech in Brussels where I'm based which will be focusing on the hydrogen uh, fuel cell technology. <coughs> Continue now. Plastic Omnium New Energies, the new division within uh, Auto Energy. Um, the business units uh, it's focusing on offering complete system uh, for fuel cell propulsion, including pressure vessels, fuel cell and balance of plant. Um, just a picture to illustrate this. Pressure tanks might be different sizes, uh, different positions in the car, fuel cells and uh, control units. 
Um, our vision is to become a leader worldwide in this technology as we are a leader for pro providing uh, fuel cell tanks. Um, therefore, also we take hydrogen uh, fuel cell technology very seriously and we are one of the uh, first generation members of the Hydrogen Council. Hydrogen Council looking at uh, hydrogen uh, as a new way of uh, handling uh, uh, energy. Okay. Um, how was this initiated uh, and activated? Um, Plastic Omnium acquired two companies, one called Optimum CPV, it was my, my, the company I previously owned and developed, and Swiss Hydrogen for the fuel cell side. And uh, together with the industrial uh, capacity of uh, uh, Plastic Omnium, the global footprint, and the really desire to, 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 to give innovation a boost we believe that this is a uh, winning formula to, to drive this technology forward. Um, Mid-term investment. Uh, this is a picture of the uh, research center which will be opened uh, next year in Brussels, focusing on uh, fuel cell technology. Um, actually, the construction was just started. It's actually close to the NATO, next to the NATO headquarters in Brussels, five minutes away from the airport. Um, the roadmap now focusing on the Hydropack, the, the pressure cylinders, we want to go very fast. I will explain why. Uh, today, we are working on the development on uh, several products. Um, one larger size, uh, 157 liter, 350 bar cylinder, which could be used for buses or trucks. Uh, then specifically for the automotive market, passenger car market, uh, the 700 bar cylinders and uh, we're working uh, in parallel on control system uh, and, and another generation of liners with a focus to become much more competitive uh, when the market is ready for, for our uh, products. Um, what investments are we doing to be able to achieve this goal? Um, I think we are investing a lot in uh, means of uh, production and testing. Um, Currently, a new robotic winding line is installed in Brussels. Um, we have capacity for hydraulic burst and cycle testing. Um, November 2018, uh, we'll, we will have a permeation testing facility. And then next year, very important for hydrogen cycling, which is currently the, the, the bottleneck of, of uh, certification of those tanks. We will have this facility in-house. Um, again, Plastic Omnium is not only making the pressure cylinders, but the entire storage system, which includes also uh, electronics and safety devices. Um, now, very important, what is the challenge for Plastic Omnium? It's actually to be able to produce for a large market. Plastic Omnium is not in the industry to deliver prototypes or specific applications. No, we are aiming at the automotive market. And uh, this is a projection um, how we see the market develop. It's not going to be linear. If you look at the scale, it's a logarithmic scale. So how, how do we know that this might be a scenario? Well, today in 2018, we produce about around three to 400 hydrogen tanks. Uh, these are mainly batches for certification and testing and development. Um, we have programs by 2020, around 2,000 tanks will be delivered, certified for, to the industry, to the automotive industry. Um, next big step, 2025, 100,000 tanks uh, that's where the automotive industry is going to implement this uh, production uh, uh, or this technology in a higher volume production for their cars. Um, so this is, a, this is a benchmark which is, which is very important. And uh, the true challenge is by 2030 that we expect one million cars to be on the road, uh, which will mean two million cylinders to be produced.
Now, why, why do we think that it will be one million electric vehicles that uh, Plastic Omium is going to sub supply um, storage systems to? Uh, the worldwide market currently is uh, 100 million or will be 100 million cars in total by 2030. It's about, uh, there's no growth foreseen as of uh, the next years. Um, but we estimate that one third of those cars will be electric, battery electric and fuel cell. And of this amount, about five million cars will be fuel cell, uh, will have a fuel cell uh, inside. If we ta then take a market share of 20%, uh, we end up with this uh, one million electric vehicles. Now it's a big challenge. Uh, those figures are based on, on detailed studies, also by the Hydrogen, Hydrogen Council. Uh, there are even people who are looking at much more optimistic figures. They are looking at the um, yeah, disruptive technology that, that all cars will be electric by 2030. But again, I'm, I'm just talking about 30%. But still to produce those 2 million tanks per year is a very, very big challenge. Um, now, how is PO going to do this? Again, if you remember the five I's, independence. Uh, independence financially, um, the budget for, for the development has already been allocated by Plastic Omium to do the development on two, 2030. I think that's very, very important. And that's something which can only be done by, by a very independent uh, company. Uh, so this commitment in there, invest, as I said, PO is ready to invest in this technology and is doing it now. Um, innovation, we're constantly looking, of course, at uh, innovative technologies. By the way, if you look at all the pressure cylinders you will see there, they look all very similar. They all are also very similar. And the difference is in the detail, and the difference will be in the way they are produced. Integration, um, Trying to integrate existing technologies we're using now to make fuel tanks safe will also be used to make hydrogen storage cylinders safe. And of course, very, very important, internationalization. Um, in the coming years, the, we estimate that the largest market will be China. And uh, as I said, uh, uh, Plastic Omium is currently um, expanding the research center in Wuhan in, uh, in China. and. Uh, PO is looking at uh, producing also uh, close to the customer everywhere, not only in China, but also in North America. Good. I think this brings us to the end of my presentation. Um, was not very technical. If you have technical questions, you can always ask me. I've been in the industry for 30 years. Uh, my background is composite processing. Um, actually, I've been working on software for filament winding, which is used to manufacture those tanks. Um, and I think all the tanks you can see there, they have been uh, developed and produced uh, using our software. Thank you. Thank you very much for that presentation. If we have any questions from the audience at this point, I'd be happy to bring the microphone down so we can all hear you. We think on it a little bit. Um, no need to be shy. If you have a question, I'm sure somebody else does too. Uh, but if... Yes, there's a question. No, no, no questions over there? All right, well, if you come up with anything, I'm sure you can drop by the uh, Plastic Omnium booth. Um, where are you located? I'm located in Belgium. Uh, today at the fair? Uh, on the booth over there. I don't, I don't know the number. I think... P28. I, I was going to go with B70. Uh, I am pretty sure that's where it is. So head on over that way um, if you have any questions. Thank you so much for your attention, and thank you for your time. Thank you. At this point, I'd like to invite you all to remain seated, uh, grab a drink, a coffee, um, while we wait for our next presentation. It'll be on in just a few moments. We'll be listening to the safety of hydrogen for mobile applications. So stay, stick with us. See you in a minute. <laughs>